Thank you, President. My adjournment matter is for the Minister for Mental Health, Minister Stitt. 10th of October was World Mental Health Day. This is a time to raise awareness of mental health issues and to mobilise efforts in support of mental health. On days such as these, we are asked to reflect on what more needs to be done to make mental health care more accessible to all. With that being said, many young people at one point or another have struggled with their mental health and limited access to appropriate support. For LGBTIQA plus young people, these responses are exacerbated. The writing themselves in four report by the Australian Research Centre in Sex, Health and Society at La Trobe University surveyed 6,418 people living in Australia aged between 14 and 21 years who identified as LGBTIQA plus. In their survey, they asked participants about their mental health experiences and access to support services. Concerningly, participants reported very high levels of psychological distress, poor mental health and suicidal thoughts. Almost two, thir two thirds of participants reported having ever been diagnosed with a mental health condition. For those who are trans and gender diverse, those with living with a disability, and those living in rural and remote areas, these experiences were particularly elevated. This is by no means surprising. This is all concerning in the context of continuing verbal, physical and sexual harassment or assault experienced by LGBTIQA plus young people. This is further compounded by increased rates of homelessness, often from family rejection or violence and inability to engage in gender or sexual affirming practices and a lack of inclusive policies and structures. In this report's final recommendations, they suggest a focus on prevention and a holistic approach to early interventions through an acute service provision. So the action I seek is that the Minister act on the recommendations of this report to ensure early intervention programs, inclusive mental health services, access to specialist health services and to encourage a wider dialogue on the inadequacies in current mental health provision services in this context.